for today, generally partly to mostly sunny skies. No worries about any rain. Uh, there may be a shower or thunderstorm out by I-81 this evening, but that should be about it. On Thursday, most of the area will stay dry for most of the day. We'll see a mix of clouds and sun. We can't rely on an isolated pop-up storm, but the chance of rain in the metro is less than 20%. A better chance the farther west you are of I-95, but even there, it's not a high chance of rain. On Friday, we'll see a little increase in clouds in the afternoon. There will be a few thunderstorms in the western part of the state, but it looks like a lot of those are going to die out by the time they get to central Virginia. So we may get a couple of uh, isolated or maybe just a few widely scattered thunderstorms late Friday. Friday, but most of the area will stay dry. Taking a look at the tropics, there's actually two areas of interest. There's one moving off the west coast of Africa, and there's one here approaching the Lesser Antilles going into the Caribbean. Both these show low chances of tropical cyclone development, which means becoming a named storm, but a sign that things are starting to pick up and get a little bit more active versus the past few weeks. The uh, peak of hurricane season gets to about September 12th or so, so we're getting closer to that. This is just a plot showing you versus normal, and anytime you have red shading, that means temperatures a little bit above normal. You notice this today, tomorrow, and through the weekend into early next week, high temperatures will stay at least a couple degrees above normal. But for today, looking for a high around 89 degrees. Same deal tomorrow, maybe just an isolated storm in a few spots. On Friday, a 20% chance of storms with a high near 90 will be near 90 on Saturday. That front approaching from the west will cause some widely scattered thunderstorms Saturday afternoon. And we may get a leftover storm or two on Sunday, but even then we're really talking about low rain chances this weekend. But notice for most of the seven day forecast, upper 80s and low 90s, kind of toasty next Tuesday and then a little bit cooler the second half of next week.